How's it going by and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Noble. As promised, I'm starting this episode off by doing the uh, treasure quests. So we'll see how long this episode takes. But the first one I want to do is this one. Because it's just beneath Rat's Eye, which isn't too far from where I ended. So, I found it already. And I'm going to show you right now. So, right here, where I am in the woods. So if you're doing this and you want to know where it is, just you know, look at this image you know, and mark it here. Here is the, uh, there's Rat's Eye right there. Here is the uh, miller. You've come across this little uh, garden in the woods and come straight back uh, right before you see this dark little section of trees. And uh, you'll find right behind me here is this cabin. Got a little pond right here. And uh, as you can see, interesting sight. Ah, there it is. Okay. So make sure you got lockpicks for this one, because it's a hard lock. I probably shouldn't have any trouble with it. <clears throat> well, this is different. Now, I wonder if the game designers did this. This is the first time I've tried to lockpick since uh, the last like update, I think. So that's kind of nice, if that's the case. Ooh, we got Night Spurs, a Lucky Playing Die, a Falcon, Paunch, and Decorated Riding Boots. So not too bad for that loot. Because that doesn't look like my sectoral lockpick uh, anymore, so I'm guessing that's a new thing. Either they came with my <laughs> uh, thing and I didn't know, or that's brand new from the game designers because they realized it was a lot more difficult than it should have been. Give me a second, I'm going to go to the second one. So I'll be right back. The second one is XI, which is uh, the second one I got at least. It's uh, off the side of Lordeco, Lordeco, whatever it is. Uh, you'll find it uh, on your map. You'll see that crashed wagon. It's right here uh, across from Ladreco. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, just follow the town. Follow the river. Once you find the accent, head straight up in the woods. Uh, follow the debris if you want to. Kind of gives you a good indicator where things went horribly wrong. And here's the cave right here. And here's our loot. We got Noble Shoes, Lazarus Potion, Old Die, an Open Basset Helmet, and uh, you Hunting Bow. I'm not sure if that's better or not. We'll see. Well, unfortunately, my helmet isn't better than what I have already. So, you know, grabbing the gear early in the game kind of helped me out in that sense. But uh, it looks like a nice helmet. So, <coughs> on to the third map. All right, everybody, and now for the last map. This is map V. Now, this one says it's under or down below the uh, mill. I'll admit, this one took me a while to find because I couldn't find the well. Now, uh, if you look on my map here for guidance, here's the mill right here, and here's the river. And it's right here in this location. You'll see this group of trees right here, and this will be kind of a good hint to, you know, kind of down and over. And... Uh, You'll see that the well here is behind me, but the tree line has this bush surrounding it. So when I came down here, I didn't see it because of the trees. I mean, clearly they did it on purpose to kind of disguise it. But once I went down the hill and came back up a bit, I saw the well. I was like, oh, I walked right past it. So uh, don't get discouraged if you miss it. Yeah, I kind of figured it was inside, by the way. Things were. That is some ugly ass slippers, but they're fashionable. Oh, I already have one of these. Oh. Oh well. Grasses and herbs. 271 Groshen. That's nice. And a recipe. And an unpopular die. I think we just got one of those earlier. I intend to find as many maps as I can to help anybody that's curious uh, and wants to know where to look. So stay tuned for future uh, map finding segments. So we're going to go ahead and jump right back into the story. So give me just a minute and I'll get right on to it. So, uh... Just a quick note here, I, uh, on the way to the objective that I just said I was going to go do, I was passing by uh, this place anyway, so I decided to stop by and I saw this guard want to talk. Yeah. He's asking me if I was the guy that was brought in half dead. The lady of the castle was asking after you. He's the guy that we convinced to leave during the I'll go and see attack. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. I won't. 
you know, as soon as I got here, I was like, you know what? I haven't talked to any of the, uh, yeah, Lady Stephanie or uh, husband, the one who was supposed to look after me, and I kind of betrayed him by leaving. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go stick my head in real quick, uh, you know, while I was waiting to record. And I was like, eh, let's see how they're doing. And then I find out there's a mission, so that's cool. I guess that's just a guard. Is she in here? Oh, sorry, Mr. Scribe, dude. That's hard lock. That's not right. I doubt she's in a room. No? I've robbed this place before. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just looking around. Oh, there you are. We'll see what you've been up to since I've been gone. Since What's you safe? apparently want to talk. Can I help you with anything? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. Indeed. It's true. I need something from you. How can you I need help? something from me? Hmm. My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. Congratulations. Be an entry into a new life, and I want. As long as she's not married to the guy like next to you, I'm that's really old. Oops, I thought I said that next gift, time. And you're going to find them for me. But that's not a gift from my you lady, if I have to do it. Me. Normally, I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it. But let him take care of it. He doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. You're trusting a, a son of a blacksmith for a princess's stuff? challenging for you. Is that not true? You're not wrong. It will be my honor, my lady. We'll get the subjective head back to the main course. crown from Sassau for Sophie. Wine from a merchant in Ratai. I've not been to Sassau yet. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. Hmm. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you. Here you go. That should be enough. Uh, let's see. And the ornamental crown? These are not going to be simple. I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written. To I say need to go to Sassau. I've never been there yet. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Joan and Slesky. And At least it would give us a date, because if it gave us a date, I'd be really screwed. I'd be like, I gotta go find this, guys. Rome from Ujitz. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Hey, we're heading there. Dietrich Ooh, I'm glad I stopped by here. Himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. Oh, thank goodness but we're heading you, to that location already. So young and vigorous. I think she's hitting on us. I'm just thinking. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Because I'm a strapping young man? You, my good sir. I haven't talked to you, Sir Divish, in a while. How are you doing? God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Um, by any chance, are you working for Palpatine to take down the Empire? Or, um, the Galactic Senate, I mean. He looks a lot like Count Dooku, in my opinion. I'm just saying. I don't know. God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now, I'm more... <laughs> He's going to talk about now, right? The Count Dooku oh. kind of look. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. That's not good. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone blocks. Or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. Oh, those darn profiters. <laughs> Okay. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly, there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. It's not our problem if someone stepped on it. swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. I'll talk if to the quarry Lyle guy after we get done with this next part of the objective. I'm certain we're not done searching for these bandits. Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? Money. To lower the price. Of what course. Else? We've already given them a fair price. And they still Everything you've ever used is probably built by the lowest worse. bidder. 
You mean they'll stop? Especially if you've been in the military. All your you guns, put, armor, aircraft, tanks, all built by the lowest bidder. Contract and find another quarry where they'll be able to secure a more favorable deal. And is anyone dealing with the problem? But you've been in a giant skyscraper. They're not going to pay top I dollar for that building. They're going to pay the lowest builder the, uh, the most they can to build the best building they can. Could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking so about... So from the old times and modern direct. times, people still try to get a discount. The Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, Don. <laughs> I could help with this. Not really. I'm Maybe hoping he's going to say no. A job for you? you aren't even in my service. <laughs> I do serve Sir Radzik. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. And I've never let him down. You have, actually. That is so a bold-faced lie. And the last time you were here, you let him down. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. Fire an arrow or two at them and watch them panic. And then when they're all good and confused, that's when you go and strike a deal. Why are you shooting arrows at me? Because I want to know if you're getting stoned from. What? That doesn't make any sense. Mr. or Miss Pebbles, I am kind of getting tired of you. This this horse, what I was talking about before, uh, courage is low, capacity isn't all that great, and speed isn't all that great. And uh, I got basic equipment on. So, uh, yeah, I need to get a better horse for sure. And we're going to go grab this roan from the same town, which is very useful for me that uh, they're sending me to the same place to get a roan as we are here. So uh, if you give me just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and get here so we can go ahead and start that part of the story. Okay, um, problems have happened. Ooh, that was close. I ran into a tree. Can you please just one of you die? That's all I'm asking. No. Got him in the helmet at least. Well, I hit him in the gut. Not my horse. Can you please die? I don't like the fact that you're hitting me with a spear. Oh. Come on, die! I think his buddy just hit him with an arrow. <laughs> I hit you. I wasn't aiming at you, but I hit you. Dagnab, Kuman ambushers. I'm trying to go forward, not backwards. I will not have any of that running away. Ah, cool. Fool. Now he's getting away. But you're not. Come on, just die already. Finally! Oh, yeah. I've I seem to have found out since the last time I played this that a few of my mods have uh, become disabled. In particular, uh, this ear spoon here is no longer you know from my uh, Halberd's uh, polearm mod doesn't work anymore. So the last update disabled it. Ah. Uh. But, at least I'm going to get some of his items. Oh, 
All right, we finally made it Urts, and uh, I gotta say, sure, a couple of my mods no longer work, but at least the developers added in that um, sectoral lockpicking thing of their own, so you don't really need it now by the looks of it. Not to mention it looks pretty cool, rather than the wagon wheel, which, you know, at the time was the best thing they could have done. But, that's the uh, guy that I was supposed to come to to learn how to do my reading. See, there's a lot of stuff going on in town. Excuse me, sir, I have questions for you. Hold still. Good day to you. What do you need? A lot of things, actually. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, well that narrowed it down awfully quick. I thought it was going to be like, three or four of them. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Well, that made things simple. I, I thought for certain it's going to be like, well, we got three guys with limps in town. Old Limpy, Limpy McGee, and uh, Miss Limpalot. And it'd be like, well, which one is it? And you got to talk to each of them and find out who it is or something. But yeah, that's even better. I'm looking for the local groom. Where can I find him? If he isn't in the stables, then I have no idea where he's gone to. <laughs> All right, so we got to get a horse and we got to get this guy. Let's see, if they got the stocks here, the pillory. Honestly, I don't even know if the shops are still open. Yep, yeah, it's it's too late for the shops. Kind of makes sense. Looks like he was. Garlic, delicious, juicy cabbage. The freshest mm. you can get. The night is already falling, so I'm going to go ahead and get a room so I don't have to worry about this later. Maple, you have a fun name. Are you the person I'm looking for? I'm honored that you should come to me. I love the beer. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I, I guess it's not him. Do you know anyone with a limp? Aye, there's one fellow with a limp. Can't imagine what you'd want with the likes of him, but that's your affair. He lives in a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Neuhof. Okay. Sorry, man. Oh, right. I need to talk to you about getting a room, because I don't get a room now, and uh, night falls, and you go to bed. I won't be able to get a room at all. Have you got a bed for the night? All right. I love how you can haggle for the prices and it's like two coin. <laughs> just the one night. Sure, I'm just a one night. Hey. The harsh times. Sure. <gasps> it's too high, but I'll pay it anyway. Here you go. You've got it all to yourself. Let's talk to you about Mr. Limpy too. For a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. That'll be Lubosh. We got his name now. Spade if I ever saw one. His place is at the end of the village, next to the stream. Take him and welcome. <laughs> she is not happy with that guy. I'll figure out where the bed is later. After we talk to this guy, or get the runaround, he could be dead already. He could be uh, in peril. I gotta save him, or he could be uh, on the run, and I gotta track him down. So we'll find out. Oh, don't tell me his house is on fire. Wait, no. All these houses. Oh, okay, yeah. It's just people are burning food in their stoves and stuff. Oh, I thought his house was on fire. I was like, oh, no. Well, it's not these houses. Oh, okay. I just noticed the main markers here. Alright, Mr. Lubosh, what do you got for us? Oh, that is a bad sign already. It's either a lynch mob or uh, something's gone horribly wrong in this location already. Yep, I was about to say, you look important. Well, that music tells me everything I need to know. He's gone or already. <laughs> this bandit wore red shirt, apparently. It's a boy! What? 
Look at the door. Yeah, there looks like blood splatter on it or something. Move along, citizens. Mind you, it'd probably look better if it was daylight instead of late evening. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. Oof. By the keys of Saint Peter, this is all I need. <laughs> that's that's a catchphrase for you. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz. I was a blacksmith's son once. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. Auschwitz. We don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. Why is there a streak across the what screen? What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? That's weird. One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? Are you sure? They say you had a limp. <gasps> Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Jason Voorhees was here. Oh! Oh, oh now I gotta decide whether I'm gonna cut this part out or not. Um. I'm probably not going to cut it. I don't, I don't think there was any nudity there, but whoa. They just emboweled him. to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. <laughs> but look and ask all you like. The chicken did it. I saw him standing off to the side. Okay. Well, we're going to take care of that in the next episode. Uh, I I thought he might have been dead, but I didn't think he was going to be dead like that. That was way more than I was expecting. I thought we were just going to find him with like an arrow in the back of his head or something. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and do this real quick. Who was limping While people are still here and everything, I figured a poor it's a living that world, right? Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble punch-ups in the tavern and what have you so yeah uh next episode we'll continue on the story how come he limped i'll i'll he end it right after this one villainy or brawl a long time ago all right so thank everybody for stopping by and joining me if you like that like subscribe for future content if you feel like it leave a comment below and i'll get back to you until next time take care everybody